Hi, in this video, I will show you how we can show a location or an address using Google Maps in our systems. So here we are looking at my service studio where I have a mobile application that has one entity called customer and it has these attributes. Uh, specifically, there are attributes which are country and city which we can perhaps show in a map. So what we'll do quickly is access forge. Uh, most of you know this is where a lot of uh, plugins exist. I've done a search for map and what I'm going to use is this one, Google Maps React Reactive Library. I'll leave a link in the description so in case you want to access it, you can do so. Now going back to my application, let's first of all add a reference to the plugin, which is what we're going to do with uh, the managed dependency. Uh, it will be a mobile. And as you can see here in the uh, UI flows, there are two which are available. One is a map. It has these input parameters. And another one is single location map, which has a uh, fewer uh, input parameters in there. Uh, what you need to note is the API key. This is what you'll get while subscribing to Google Maps separately. Uh, let's say in my case, I'll add a reference to a single location map. It does the job of what I'm trying to do. Uh, now let's go ahead and in the main flow quickly build me a customer listing and detail screen. So the reference has been added. Now we're building the screen. And what I plan to do is listing screen. I think we can leave it as it is. But on the detail screen, this is where I can add a map. Now because the map was at the uh, user flow layer, uh, this will be available here. You can see and the particular one that I've added reference for. Uh, you can also do a search here in the widget window and do a drag and drop. Maybe city is something that I can display in a map. You can clean up other things in case you don't want these other uh, labels and uh, text fields. But basically after you've added the map, what you need to look at is these properties. Now, if you recall, these are the same thing that you were seeing earlier when I was adding the reference. Uh, we can either pinpoint to an address or we can use latitude and longitude. This can also be uh, taken from maybe a location plugin, which gives you the location. And there are a couple of other properties that you can control. In my case, let's say very simply, I'll put the address as the city and publish the application. So it is that straightforward to use it. And as, as I mentioned, go ahead and try out other plugins also that exist on Forge and uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to use them in your application. So my application has been published. Let's launch it. Uh, listing page where all the customers are there. And if I tap on any of these customer, I can see the details where it shows me the location of that particular customer. Uh, if I change it to some other one, let's say Armenia, this person is from, customer is from Armenia. I can see this location in the map. Thanks for watching.